water. Personally, I'm for it. Here's what it does for you. One, keeps you alive. End of list. It's really important, you guys. You're feeling crappy? Drink some water. Got a headache? Drink some water. Got dry skin? Drink some water. Can't poop? Drink some water. Shove too many pretzels in your mouth? Drink some water. It will solve all those problems, maybe. Because water is so important, China and I decided to drink the proper amount of it every day for a month. Also, there's a pandemic and we are stuck at home with a toddler and we're bored. What if we've been drinking water wrong our entire lives? What if drinking more water leads to more energy, focus, ambition, becoming the all-seeing, all-knowing space babies in the center of the universe? Look at how much water we'd need for our embryos. Okay. But how much are you supposed to drink in a day? Eight cups a day? Five gallons a day? Half an ounce for every pound you weigh a day? An ounce for every pound of Charlie Day a day? Well, that's easy. I'll just ask YouTube. There is no formal recommendation for a daily amount of water people need. That amount obviously differs by what people eat, where they live, how big they are, and what they're doing. That's just the host of healthcare triage, Aaron Carroll. Now I will ask a real professional directly, Dr. Aaron Carroll. How much should someone drink a day? Are you thirsty? Drink. Yeah. But what if I don't know and I don't drink enough and I die of dehydration? Clean, safe water is more ubiquitous than at any other time in human history, and I'm baffled how obsessed we all seem to be with the idea that we're all going to drop dead of dehydration anytime soon. Yeah, but what about that whole you got to drink eight glasses of water a day thing? As far as I can tell, that comes from a nutrition recommendation in the 1950s, where like a group of experts got together and said, we think that the average person needs... Bah! And there's like a comma in the recommendation and nobody ever reads the rest of it. But most people are going to get that in their regular diet because there's water in vegetables and there's water in coffee and tea and beer. Even then, it's like the idea that a large man living in the desert needs the same amount of water as a petite woman living in... Water McWaterTown. I get it. Different drinks for different dinks. But... I gotta bring something up because I know a lot of you are already commenting it with your commenty fingers. I loves me coffee, tea, beer just as much as the next guy, ideally separately. But don't those things dehydrate you? Oh, like this is like just a, so many myths. Um, <laughs> a lot of that is based on studies that show that there's a very short term increase in your urinary output. But your body's incredibly good at this. And so if there's a short term increase in your urinary output, it's almost always followed by a slightly longer term decrease in your urinary output to compensate over the course of a day. All right, so I'll include coffee in my water count for the day. But anyway, turns out Dr. Aaron Carroll agrees with host Aaron Carroll. There is no formal recommendation for a daily amount of water people need. So I guess that makes sense and renders this entire experiment completely useless. To a doctor, but I'm gonna ask someone way more trustworthy, an app. And we talked about it on day one with flowery language. Should we put flowers in here to make this look nice? It looks like you have a flower for your beard. Get close and just so show your eyes. That's a thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trent and I use the app Plant Nanny, which asks how active you are per day, and then it recommends how much water you should drink. It told us. 85 ounces. 125 ounces. And if you stop telling it you're drinking that much, the plant dies. <laughs> digital murder makes you feel digitally guilty. Guilt, the reason to do anything. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna take a little break from talking about murder water to thank the sponsor of this video. Tej Hanley, uncomplicated skincare for men. Capital R, circle around it. A lot of people say that their skin gets better after they drink water. China and I didn't really notice much of a difference after a month, but after several months of using Tej Hanley, I've noticed a big difference. They put the Ej in. Please tell me how you got your face so smooth. I just think they're the beige niche. Finally, even starting to look a little like sexy clone. What the other? Oh. I know I'm trying to ruin your face by spitting on it. <laughs> It's the first time in my adult life I've actually been trying to take care of my skin, and it feels great. Every day I use the AM and PM moisturizer, the face wash, super serum and eye cream, and twice a week, the scrub. Really like the feeling the scrub gives you. It's a good kind of tingly. Like when you rub wasabi all over your face. Don't do that. I will never do that again. And don't put this on your sushi either. Sorry, T. Shanley. This just doesn't taste good on sushi. Point is, the scrub feels good on your face. I don't want no scrub. I do want some scrub. Scrub is a bit better. What's the word? Just order one of their systems and they'll send you everything with free US shipping. No coupon code required. Is it coupon or coupon? Coupon. I always thought it was coupon. I guess I was right. And they'll ship to most other countries. Antarctica? Probably not. I don't know, it's not, that's not even a country. Is anyone watching from Antarctica right now? Leave, let me know in the comments. The air there is probably really dry. You probably need this pretty bad. I'll see if we can get you a box. Also, if you sign up and after you receive 12 boxes, you get 10% off for life. Nothing is for life these days, except for junk mail, spam emails from Expedia and the Hilton Hotel that I can't seem to unsubscribe from, and 10% off T. Shanley after 12 boxes. That's it. Because T. Shanley sponsoring this video, they are gonna give you a free dop slash toiletry bag with your order. Click the link below. 
It's just $25 to start. They put the Ege in Easy to Order. They put the Hanley in Shipping and Hanleying. Okay. On day one, we mentioned some stuff that kind of instigated this whole experiment for us that wasn't necessarily about all out dehydration. So there was one day where I was feeling really crappy and I couldn't figure out why and I just drank a bunch of water and then I felt great. Sometimes I'd probably feel better if I had some water, but I just don't think about it. Hopefully this experiment will help remind me that it's the water, stupid. What are your hopes and dreams for this? I snack sometimes when I'm actually thirsty. My main goal is to make sure that I'm not ever thirsty. Mm -hmm. so that I know for sure when I'm hungry. Same with me. I don't want to eat too much when water will do. Swimmingly. <laughs> mm. Anyway, this was going to be a big change for us because we barely drank water before. Most of the time, I do drink a lot of water anyway. I don't think that we're ever dehydrated. Okay, maybe not. But we're just trying stuff. So let's jump ahead a few days. Hello, China. Hello. My wife. Craig, my mm -hmm. husband. Okay, 15 days. We didn't get a lot of footage before that, but let's do a reenactment of those other days. Mmm. Water. It's wet. Mmm, still watery. Mmm. Even wetter. Mmm, just a little bit more water before bed. Mmm. I'm so tired. Mmm, I love drinking water with you in the morning. I'm so rested. My clothes are starting to stink. Basically in those days I carried around this 24 ounce bottle and every time I finished it, I would fill it up and I would push the button twice because I was measuring in 12 ounce increments. And then the app would tell me that I was drinking too much, way too fast. I was just logging two at a time. Chill out, mom. But overhydration can be a problem too that we should probably address. An extreme version of it is hyponatremia, which is a particular danger for marathon runners who sweat out a lot of sodium and they don't replace it. They just drink a bunch of water and Hyponatremia. Anyway, I was probably fine. I only ran like three or four marathons that month. Low for me, bruh. Okay, back to day 17. So I want to talk to you about a slippery subject. Water. It's just sounded gross. I haven't missed a day. I have missed a day. <gasps> I, I had like errands to run or something, and then it got to the end of the day. I've had like 36 ounces of water, and I knew that if I finished that I was just gonna have to wake up and pee, so I just didn't do it. I'm not noticing anything when I do drink it. It's just a neutral state, but when I don't, I notice things. I have no motivation to do anything. I just feel kind of sick. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I'm mm -hmm. like way behind on my water, and then I have it and I feel better. It's not like life-changing, just raising from crappy to normal. It's not like it's gonna fix all of your problems. You're gonna be superhuman and your skin's gonna clear up and you're gonna be able to go to space and you're gonna have a taco, I don't know. Every time you drink water, you get a taco? That'd be yeah. great. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But then on day 21, I noticed a great deal of change. Not noticing a great deal of change. Maybe I'm less hungry in general, but it's hard to know how I would have felt otherwise. Right. So, I'm gonna stop. You gonna stop drinking water? Then, yeah, I'm gonna quit water for oh, it's a bad idea. another month. Oh and then, no! No, no, stop measuring my water. You're gonna quit too? Yeah, sure. Is that because of the experiment or out of laziness? Yes. I really liked not having to keep track of it. Yeah, when I didn't have to. I liked it. There you have it. Three weeks of meticulously measuring our water and one week of not. Now, I'd like to ask Dr. Aaron Carroll a series of whatabouts. What about when we were- No longer tracking. The first couple days, I got migraines both days. One of those days, I also had a headache. Yeah. And I don't really get headaches very often. We both did get headaches. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. I would imagine that any kind of drastic changes to your body one way or the other with respect to, you know, your diet will result in you feeling odd in some way. On the other hand, I wouldn't take that as an immediate sign of like, oh my gosh, you're dehydrated uh, and like the world is going to come to an end. Your body is pretty good about adapting. Okay, okay. But what about yesterday I kind of noticed I was feeling kind of tired worn down and I had some water and I felt better. That's happened to me several times. Look, if you feel crappy and you can fake fix it by just going to get a drink, I'd say that's amazing. Great. <laughs> like, I wouldn't look at that as like, oh my gosh, how bad life is. I'd be like, if you can fix feeling crappy with a glass of water, you're doing awesome. But I think a lot of people panic that like, if they feel thirsty, that somehow they fail. That our goal is to never feel, you know, the pangs or, you know, the fact that we might need something. I would be able to argue like, that's the body's natural way of keeping keeping you in line, and that's how it's supposed to work. We don't need often these external sources because the internal sources work 
great. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what about? I think a lot of people are going to ask what they often ask in these videos, and that is, did we lose weight? And I usually don't measure that closely. There's so many factors that go into it besides mm -hmm. just whatever experiment we're doing. That said, having more water to drink and paying closer attention to that made it easier to not snack when I wasn't actually hungry. Since I've been paying attention, I really do notice. I have water instead of a snack, and I'm not hungry anymore. So there's some evidence that like drinking water satiates you in the short term, and that helps you to eat less than you would otherwise eat, and therefore help you lose weight. Who am, I'm not gonna talk you out of that. Like, that's great. Like, but I would say that works for some people and not others, and I'm not sure it's like a tried and true method for many people to lose weight. But almost everything works in the short term. Problem is keeping it off. Drinking massive amounts of water is not been shown to be a sustainable method of weight reduction. Usually it's much more about holistic small lifestyle changes that you can sustain over the long term. Those are most likely to succeed. But it's not the kind of thing you can go, this works for everybody, everybody should do it. So what have we learned? Well, our bodies are trying to tell us when we need water, and this experiment helped remind China and I to pay better attention. Also, I should continue measuring all the time because it made my life incredibly better. It didn't like m make my life incredibly better. So all in all, are you glad you did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I feel. It's uh, in these trying times, it's nice to have anything to occupy any <laughs> brain space, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink when I'm thirsty. And I'm not saying this experiment wouldn't be helpful to you. There are some people that maybe really need to be reminded that they need to drink water. Like I said, we were already drinking a pretty decent amount of water. Different drinks for different dinks. Remember that funny thing I said? <laughs> it's less funny this time. Thank you to Aaron Carroll once again for talking with me. You should definitely check out the YouTube channel Healthcare Triage and his book, The Bad Food Bible. It's an incredibly interesting takedown of our beliefs about what's healthy and what isn't and how we blow studies way out of proportion. And thanks to Tish Hanley, this book is a lot shorter. Right? In fact, that's the whole thing right there. But it's also skincare for men. And you can get a free dop slash toiletry bag if you go follow the link. And it's only $25 to start. In our previous video, China and I answered a bunch of questions and then tried to guess each other's answers to see how well we really knew each other. You can support me on Patreon where I do a video every single weekday, scripts and notes for my videos, a monthly live stream, other stuff. Or you could simply subscribe to the channel or even easier, do nothing. Now I'm going to drink this water. Mmm, how on theme that is. I can't believe how on theme that was. Mmm.